The Christmas lectures from the Royal Institution have delivered cutting-edge science to young audiences for nearly 200 years, and that's a very long time. And that tradition is still running strong today, reaching even greater audiences on television, online, and most recently through 3D headsets. I'm Olympia Brown and I work at the Royal Institution organising the Christmas lectures. Um, every year we try to think of topics that are as fresh and exciting as possible for the kids in our audience. Um, and this year I'm really excited that we've got a topic that we've never before covered in the history of the lectures. I'm delighted to announce that the 2016 Christmas lectures will be called Decoding the Stars, a new look at astrology. Here at the Royal Institution we're not afraid to tackle controversial subjects so we want to look at the recent developments that have opened up astrology as a legitimate area of scientific research. When looking for who to deliver these lectures there was only one obvious choice and that was Professor Michael de Crepney who has worked tirelessly over the last 30 years to advance the field and bring it into a legitimate area of scientific research. Where do we come from? What's the meaning of life? What influence does the cosmos have on our lives? These and other questions are what I've been considering for the last 30 years. I'm Professor Michael de Crepney, and I'm a quantum astrologer. I was a skeptic at first for sure, but the universe is a beautiful symphony of connections. And if we listen carefully, and if we collect the right data, we can hear the harmony of the cosmos calling out to us. I remember as a young child, I came here to the Christmas lectures to see the famous Carl Sagan. He really led to me enrolling and getting a degree in quantum astrophysics. So I became very interested in stuff like string theory and quantum pigeonholing. Um, and since then I've been conducting research to think more scientifically about how a whole area of astrology could have a more robust scientific base. I'm Frank James, I'm Professor of Cosmic History here at the World Institution and my job is to write about the history of everything, the cosmos and everything basically. Well, astrology has a very long history uh, going back to the ancient Babylonians in, in the first millennium uh, BC. It hasn't had a particularly good press uh, over the past few hundred years and Michael's great achievement uh, is to make it into a proper uh, science and that's what we'll be celebrating with the Christmas lectures this year. One well, can see a similar sort of pattern um, uh, in the work of Michael Faraday in the 19th century here at the Royal Institution where he began uh, theorising about magnetism in terms of magnetic force being transmitted through an invisible jelly, uh, but by the 1850s had turned that into the field theory of electromagnetism, uh, which became and remains one of the cornerstones of modern theoretical physics. And in exactly the same way, Michael de Crepney over the past decade or so has turned astrology into something where we can actually understand uh, how the cosmos affects what happens down here uh, on Earth. Across the three lectures, we'll look at how the scientific study of astrology has evolved from its humble roots. The first lecture will be titled Breaking Cosmic Barriers, Redefining Astrology in the Scientific Age. The second, Quantum Horoscopes, Decoding Interplanetary Connections, will focus on my own research and specifically the quantum connections that exist between planets. And finally, the third lecture will be called Astral Algorithms. Your destiny is in the data, where we'll be looking to the future of astrology and how big data is allowing us to unlock the true predictive power of celestial interactions. Over the years in my research, I've come to realise that science isn't just about uh, experiments or theories, it's also about convincing people. What we do at the Royal Institution is to convince people that science is right by whatever means necessary. Coming to speak in the same lecture theatre where Michael Faraday started the Christmas lectures is a very humbling experience. I hope to share my passion and knowledge of astrology to inspire the next generation of celestial scientists. 
ultimately, the Christmas Lectures tries to open our audiences' minds to new fields of scientific research, and this year I really hope that we can begin to remove the stigma around astrology. What was the joke? <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect.